What do you do if your tire bursts? First and most important, do not slam on the brakes. Our natural instinct in the event of an accident or car issue is to slam on the brakes and stop immediately. However, in this case it is the absolutely worst thing you could possibly do. It will throw the vehicle off balance and send you into a spin or simply cause you to lose control completely. Do not release the accelerator suddenly. Ideally, you should begin to slow down but you must do this slowly. The deceleration force caused by the burst tire will cause your car to slow down rapidly so it is best to maintain your speed and then gradually ease off. Keep the vehicle going straight ahead, you need to focus on your steering to ensure that you continue traveling straight in order to avoid any collisions following the blowout. Your car will swerve in the direction of the blowout but you should be able to remain in control. If your car pulls to the left or right side and the steering has gotten heavier, either of the front tires has burst. The direction that the car pulls in is the side of the damaged tire. On the other hand, if your car weaves, a rear tire has blown. Again, don't brake. It can lead to your car fishtailing. Always drive with both hands on the steering wheel. It's difficult to control the car in an emergency situation if you have only one hand on the wheel. Above all, try to remain as calm as possible. You shouldn't panic and you certainly shouldn't overreact. In most cases, but not always, a tire burst is accompanied by a blast sound or a loud pop. Do not overcorrect, when you first feel the swerve of your car after the blowout, it may be tempting to panic and turn the steering wheel hard in the other direction. Unfortunately, this will only make the loss of control more likely. Rather do your best to keep it straight as detailed. Let your vehicle coast to a stop, let your vehicle come to a gradual stop, using engine braking if necessary. Ensure it is safe for you and your car to stop there before stopping and once you have come to a complete standstill turn on your emergency or hazard lights.